So we have analog news. I need an analog glue load. Yay! Wait, I'll give it an analog. Finally, it's been a while. It's been a a while. Um, So retro. Well, I will say what you've written here. Retro hardware maestros analog have finally announced a major update to their proprietary analog OS that launched with the analog pocket in December last year. I don't know if technically that was analog OS. I guess it kind of like is. Um, I want to take you guys on a very, very, very brief journey Um, because I just want to sort of like get to like, how did we even get here? Because I think like we've all forgotten the timeline here. One thing to shout out or like to mention, I mean, like I've tried it a few different ways. I can't find any tweets from Analog around, you know, the time, (laughs) suspiciously, the time they announced the Analog Pocket around that time period, all their tweets are gone from then and all in the past, they've all been deleted. It's very odd. And I Suspicious. triple checked it with other places. I'm like, yeah, I can see, you know, 10 years of history. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know if it's some kind of weird Twitter limit. Like, maybe a thousand tweets you can only see or something like that. But I don't but know. It seemed to be, be funny a, there's to There's a history somewhere, but isn't there? There's, something gets archived. I tried to. Going. I tried to check it. But anyway, I don't want to speculate because anyway, I'm not 100% yeah. confident. But... The Pocket was announced on Analog Day, which is the 16th of October. So 16th of October 2019 is wow. when the Pocket was announced. And the key thing here is they don't mention anything about the Analog OS uh, and they say it's going to be 2020. So at the last day of 2019, they confirmed, they double confirmed that the Pocket is coming out in 2020 with this misaligned 2020 meme that I'm not sure if it's like knowingly tongue-in-cheek or they actually fucked it up <laughs> but anyway um then we move into july 2020 and this is when they've announced the first delay so in july 2020 they announced when you're gonna be able to pre-order the pocket they only had around fifteen thousand for pre-order and they announced that it's going to be may 2021 and the, sorry this is the most hype uh an an OS update data <laughs> has ever gotten in the history of mankind. Well, I have, I feel like I haven't run through the whole thing in a while, so I, I just want to do it. Stupidly, they had two uh, a limit of two per order, which they should not have done. A lot more people would have got it. It sold out immediately within a few minutes. People were very annoyed. Everyone was, like, crying here. I think some people that we follow there. Uh, they announced also that the TurboGrafx-16 PC Engine Super Graphics adapter is coming to the pocket. This is the last that we've heard of this. This they, they barely even mentioned this on the website. And you can't order this. This is in October 2020. So this still has not... Like, we don't know anything about this still to, like, three years later. I'm like, sorry, someone's just deleted my notes from the run sheet. Oh, <laughs> it's I, Mike. I, I know you're not reading it, but it's, like, gone! Yeah, no, thanks, thanks Mike. <laughs> I, think I, t- I think I typed more than what the actual bloody analog announcement was. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, I don't even know how that happened. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, boys. It's all right. Um... <laughs> And then in 2021, so this is in Feb 22, they wrote a whole note about that they're changing the way that their systems work, clarifying around having limited editions versus limited quantities. I think this was like the most uh, consumer-friendly thing that Analog's ever done in terms of this article. It's a good read. And they did actually implement a lot of really cool new features and like bot protection. I think it was a lot more fair when Swinney and you ordered uh, the Analogs later. Mm. Then on March... 31, 2021. So there was meant to come out in May 2021 at this stage. In March 31, they announced there's going to be a delay to October 2021 due to uh, the crisis, like as a kick on from coronavirus. Then they announced in September 10th that there's going to be pre orders and when they're going to be shipping, and they announced another delay. So it's now December 2021, which is when they actually did. Uh, release it and you can kind of already see that they kind of have these like articles they do it kind of proper now they're just like fuck it we're just gonna post some shit because we're angry we just want to get it up there and they give some reasoning as to why it happened and people getting annoyed and saying i'm gonna buy the play date and they're not happy uh then after that post so this is on the, uh, the analog day so october 16th they this is when they announced the analog os so this is well after the analog pocket was even meant to be out in 2020. So this was just last year when they announced this. And it's talking about what they're going to do for all of their consoles going forward. So it's not just the pocket, but analog OS being, you know, more of a, 
a library and a, a sort of, you know, a collection and almost a historical artifact. So you have a library where it has reference level information about every single game. Uh, all the images you need to supply yourself, like they won't have any images. So, you you know, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, I'm sure someone will have some kind of thing you can whack on the SD card. And then, yeah, you can go through the regions. It shows you different variations. They have some really cool features with this that, that you know, when it comes where you can actually, if you're in a game store with a pocket, you can put in a Game Boy cartridge and it will pop up to tell you the exact region and the exact type of Game Boy cartridge that is and which variant it actually is. Um, then also from a playlist perspective, it's like the games that you're interested in and memories like, you know, save state, screenshots, and also just, you know, when you've played the games. Like, so it actually show you a bit of a display. This one for me is like actually annoyed me the most. I have a, a DAC. So basically I can plug in the analog consoles into my Sony Trinitron CRT, but that doesn't work currently with the way they've set it up with the firmware that they have. Um, then moving on past the analog OS, this is when they sort of announced back in December when they started shipping the first shipment of the pockets and then announced more pre-orders and when those people will get those pre-orders fulfilled. I think you're in group C, right, Swinney? Yes. <laughs> so that's 2023. I mean, like the context there, that's kind of incredible, right? Like 2019 is when they announced this thing and it's like, you're going to be able to get it 2023. And that's like... Uh Early, I don't probably. care. Group C, Group C is the cool place to be. So. <laughs> and then this is when the device came out. And it, it was actually, for an analog product, in my opinion, a lot more buggy than I probably expected. Like, Golden Sun 2 had, like, bugs in it, which, you know, you got to always remember, it's like, even though FPGA... It's, it's, it's kind of like people always debate emulation, not emulation, whatever. It's trying to emulate hardware rather than using software to emulate hardware, right? So it's using hardware to emulate hardware. You can still have issues there. Oh, um, the reason Britney Spears loves uh, getting naked on Instagram. Okay. Well, we can click that's that. interesting. We can <laughs> click. <laughs> <laughs> to audio listeners, it's got, he's, what, he's got the Twitter feed. This is, this is all the stuff I'm really interested in. You know, Morbius 2, <laughs> Britney Spears. <laughs> Morbius 2 is tweeting. That's <laughs> trending. That is amazing. <laughs> and then they also released another minor update in Feb. Now, this was kind of annoying for everyone because they had said in articles that 1.1 was going to be released in January. And then so it wasn't until the start of Feb, everyone thought this was going to be 1.1, me included, but it was 1.0B, which was just minor tweaks, some nice fixes, but nothing crazy. And then finally, when we get here to like recently or like today for us when we're talking about it, uh, but back in May 27, they're saying version 1.1 is going to be now in July, but it's actually going to be beta. And look, I can obviously look, development is very difficult, right? In all forms, but the, you don't have the excuse of the of the chipset no. chip shortages and all that stuff. Like that is a gross miscalculation of, of timeline there. <laughs> Yeah, and just like as they said, we appreciate everyone's patience. I also appreciate everyone's patience walking through the the, the timeline of events of how we've gotten to this point. Look, I, I really like analog. I still think someone like Swinney, analog's the way to go with this stuff. I think with Mike, I'd honestly say something like a mister is the way to go, right? Like it's more configurable. It's more mucking around on your part, but it's more flexible, mm. you know, and you've got less people to blame in a way. Whereas this, like, I do, they've kind of dropped the ball a few times on their recent stuff. And I think people are getting a bit shitty with analog. And I think fairly enough, honestly. Like, I'm really not a big fan of the D-pad of the pocket. Like, I haven't spoken that much about it recently, but I've been playing it a bit. And I'm like, ah, man, this D-pad kind of, like, annoys me. And whenever I get that in my mind on controllers, like, I start to, like, lose interest, <laughs> like, permanently, so... Shame. Can I, can I just ask, with the 1.1, yeah. so they've got the... It'll have memories, so yeah. save states and things. So was that save states not already available? Yeah, before? good question. So they have one save state oh, for okay. a cartridge, but... Because people don't really understand how the whole thing works, right? Mm. The crazy thing about it is... You could have like a Pokemon Red from 99, like your childhood Pokemon Red, right? With your save game on it and everything like that. If you accidentally misuse the save states 
like trying to load a save state or something like that, it will actually wipe the memory of the Pokemon Red real That's cartridge. Crazy. That's crazy. And people are like almost in tears talking about it on like the analog subreddit, like going, oh, I fucked up the save state and I didn't realize it like... Because they're thinking like it's like an emulator, right? But it's real hardware. So Does it's it like, actually update the battery yeah. backup thing? Yeah, wow, no, it, it's like the whole thing. It's just like push it in and push it out. So wow. it, it would just blast the whole save state. So people have lost like... 20 years saves that they've been like carefully keeping <laughs> so you got to be careful with that stuff so like they have a really dodgy beta version of the save states now but with the analog os it's going to be more obvious like i think you could have multiple save states and it's going to be like a lot clearer how it all okay. works but still like they are adamant that you cannot use pirated materials you know non-copyright roms all that kind of stuff right I don't really understand the library and functionality. It's like, what's the point of being able to look through a library of games and then you go, oh, I need to get the cartridge and plug it in. Like, I know what library of games I have. It's called the physical carts in front of me. Mm, Like, it just, mm. to me, doesn't, it feels like such a misuse of resources unless, and, you know, everyone always talks about it with analog, like, unless they have a jailbreak for it. Like, that's going to be the key thing, right? And I do agree that they will probably wait till 1.1 if they were going to have a jailbreak, but I don't know. My money is, like, that they're not going to have a jailbreak for this device. I don't think they want to have that heat. Like, because, you know, it's this kind of unofficial Mm. thing that the community always knows. It's like, of course, they're the ones making the jailbreak, someone in their team, right? But it's unofficial that they do that. But I I don't think they're going to do it this time. I wonder, though, if they don't... Allegedly, let's just say. Yeah, allegedly. If they don't release a jailbreak for this, I think they'll really kill all the goodwill in the community for the next for the next product they put out. Oh, I totally you know? agree. I totally agree. And because like, the the duo is not out yet, is it? No. So the duo yeah. was meant to be out last year, and then it's they haven't even said anything about it. Like I was actually gonna, I had more articles and more tweets about the duo as well because I just think it's really weird what they're doing at the moment. Because those games will probably be way harder to even track down the physical versions compared to a lot of these Game, oh, Boy, game Boy Advance games. Way harder. And yeah. way, way, way more and, expensive. And if anyone doesn't know, that's like Turbo Graphics, um, PC, PC Engine, Engine and yeah. stuff. So. Yeah, Super Graphics as well. And that one is way harder from a tech perspective. That's probably the most complicated device they've ever built because it actually has a CD drive in it as well, that, that system. So that's... You know, and I was kind of excited about that because, you know, I was like, oh man, imagine if they make a PlayStation like an analog PlayStation, that, that'd be insane. But, I mean, this is the difference now between that and the Mista. Like, the Mista's already got a beta core for PlayStation. Mm. And, you know, you don't have to worry about the discs and everything like that. So, yeah, look, like, I'll, I'll say it like this. I personally don't think that analog will release a jailbreak. That doesn't mean there won't be a jailbreak. The community will m- figure it out and make a jailbreak for it, for sure. Like, that will happen, right? But I think people haven't put the effort because they're just expecting, you know, quote-unquote, allegedly, someone from Analog is just going to do it. They're just going to change one file and then recompile and go, okay, now you can put games on the SD card. So, mm. But yeah, man, like, I don't know, Analog, it's kind of a funny one. Like, you know, Mike, looping back to you, because you're the other person who has an Analog pocket, mm-hmm. how much dust has uh, your pocket collected? None, because I keep it in a case. But yeah, and then how much is that case? case? Collecting a hell of a lot of dust. <laughs> yeah. Well, none, because the case is sitting in a drawer. <laughs> and then how much dust is that collecting the drawer? Oh my god, a lot because I've got two cats at the moment, and they go outside, and I just cut the grass. And but just seriously, shit everywhere. like, have you played it? Um, I have, but not enough. And the problem is, I just yeah. don't have enough physical cartridges at the moment. And I try to get some good ones. And every time I go to cash converters or something, I look through their Game Boy selection just to see if there's anything I want to grab. Yeah. Um, and they're either really expensive for the stuff that you actually want to play or you just don't really want to play it. Yeah. So I and, and kind of regret the purchase, to be honest. That's probably the last thing I should have said that I, I'm almost more au fait with the whole they never make a jailbreak. Okay, that's that's like, I don't think anyone should expect that they're going to make a jailbreak. Mm. I never expected that. The thing mm. that does actually annoy me is that if you use flash carts, they don't work that well. Like, some flash cards don't work at all on the analog pocket. Now, mm. that to me is not right. Because, you know, if a flash card works perfectly, 
in any Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Advance, it should work on the analog pocket. Sorry. Because mm. to me, it should at least be a, a, a clone replica of a Game Boy. Is that it, something that a software update can fix, though? Yes. Yeah, okay. for sure. So the, the fucked up thing is that the people who make the flashcards have updated the flashcards to make them work for the current version of the pocket. If they're not in jail. Yeah, if they're not in jail, right? <laughs> yeah. No, but these flashcards, these are more reputable people than what you're talking yeah. about. But um, yeah. it's like Crix, the guy who fled Ukraine recently. And then you're talking about jail people. Look at that. You know, he's a war survivor. Um, <laughs> you, 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 link, you made that connection. Hey, I he didn't... even made just a, a Freedom for Ukraine uh, version of, of uh, oh, awesome. the EverDrive 64 recently. So, Man, EverDrive, that's actually something I mm. mind getting. Yeah, that's the that's Crix guy. He's behind most of those. So. Look, I don't. It's a really weird one because I I, I appreciate I appreciate the screen. I appreciate the tech. The screen is it. amazing. It, it is amazing, but you know, I also have an Ebernic device, <laughs> which honestly I would be much more likely to use. Yeah, and that that can do just a, not just about any platform, but it can do a shit ton of different platforms. Um, and it's, it's obviously not the same hardware emulation, but for a layman like me, yeah. I wouldn't really be able to tell the difference that much. So, I, and and the price difference is it's a third of the price. Yeah, I feel and like it can do all that shit. That's so. such a damning mm. kind of comment because you're not a dumbass. It's like that's such a damning comment on analog that you go, oh, mm. these two devices. I think I prefer the shittier device. Yeah, like, I do that's, prefer that's the That's kind of device, like a damning yeah. thing of like where analog's at right now. So. All right. And that's not to say it's not an amazing device, because it is absolutely the bee's knees of devices when it comes to this kind of stuff. If this device was open for like SNES and oh, the other yeah, platforms, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god, it would literally be the ultimate device. Like people would pay a thousand bucks for this thing. Yeah. I look the deep, I can't wait to Swinny. Swinny, you haven't actually played one, right? I forgot to bring it down. No. Shit, I'm, man. Sorry. I should have brought it down. Crew, so I'm, I'm in the group C crew. Come on, boys. Yeah. Damn. I actually would love you to try the D pad because you're a bit of a D pad. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Can't oh. use that word. Can't use that word. What? The N word. <laughs> the other N word. No, I know. I'm just saying, like, you're very uh, tolerant. You know what I mean? I don't feel I'm tolerant of D-pads. Nah, bullshit. You like the Xbox D-pad, man. If you like the Xbox I don't like the Xbox 360, 360 D-pad. No, no I, think, that's I think that D-pad. applies to me. I'm the one that does not give a shit about D-pads. Oh, really? I'll okay. use whatever D-pad you I have. I feel like I'm, I'm the most extreme on D-pads. You are absolutely You might be, extreme. but I'm not I'm definitely to- I'm not tolerant. Like, okay. I don't even like the NES D-pads. I am super Okay, tolerant. fair enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. super interested to see you use this D-pad. I don't rate the D-pad. It's actually the thing I hate the most about the device. It's actually probably the well, only thing I really don't like about the device. I mean, um, I don't know what the benchmark is, but for Tetris that I've mostly played on this device, so it's a 400 and whatever dollars, I don't know, postage was, yeah. So it was like a, at least a $400 yeah, Tetris yeah, machine yeah, no, for it's me. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Um, it it was like perfect. It, it worked really well for me. And same as my girlfriend actually played that device more than I have played that device now. That's funny. So I bought her a $400 gift just to play Tetris. It's, it's <laughs> stupid. Talk about right. a waste of money. Oh, glad I don't waste money on masks and shit no, like no, that. No, no, exactly. All right, well, let's uh, wrap up the news.